Hello, class. Hello, good evening. How are you, Nelson? Hi, hi teacher. Good evening. Hey, Mark. How are you? Hi, fine. Uh, good, Thank thanks. You. What about you? I'm okay. It's very hot today, right? Yeah. I just uh, take a, a shower. <laughs> I just took a shower. Yes. Yeah. It's very hot. Yes, so do I. Uh, I, oh yeah. I'm always thinking, I always say I'm going to put air conditioning in the house. But I will someday because this is too much. Where is everybody? I don't know. I Just thought I now. only, I'm going to be the only student I thought for a moment. <laughs> no. They are coming. Sure. Yeah, they will come in little by little. So how was your day today? Sorry? How was your day today? Um, fine. Very quiet. <laughs> Very relaxed because, uh, well, well uh, I, uh, now I, I don't, I don't have a work. I do. Yeah. You're and not then, working in this moment? No, no I, I lost in my job in the in the, pan, the pandemic. Uh, yeah. And where did you work? In um, Ingenio El Angel is a sugar sugar factory. Yeah, it's like a sugar, sugar company. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's in this uh, this. Um, uh, this factory is in a pop between the at Popa and Nehapa, and they closed because of the of, of the pandemic. Um, no, no, only uh, they they decide cut uh, some some people or workers. Oh, okay, oh, that's sad. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. But are you are you, you're looking around, I imagine. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> All right, good. But I try to 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 keep a uh, um, positive mind. Um, oh, I, I hope. Yeah. I hope today. No. How. Uh, a new opportunity for me. Good for you, good for you. Veronica, hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> good to see you. Excuse me? Good to see you. Ah, uh, yeah, good to see you too. <laughs> good. And how is Miss Jordana, a taco girl? I'm fine. Thank you so much for asking. What up for you? I'm fine. Um, Jordana, you tell me that you work from home, correct? Yes. You work like in a call center or? Mm, no, actually, I'm an English tutor. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, th th that's good. You know, you because the reason why I ask you is because you have a you have a very good voice. For, uh, yeah. Your voice is nice, like for commercials or or. <laughs> okay, thank you. You have like that voice from what? What's that name from? Um, um, Siri. Siri is from my iPhone, right? I'm mm -hmm. familiar with that. No, I don't know. Yeah, you know when you talk to oh, an iPhone. Oh, Siri. Siri. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. Al Alexa. I have heard of Alexa. I, no, I think Alexa is Amazon, I think. Uh <laughs> I don't know. I'm poor. I, I have Android. I don't have iPhone. No, me too. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> I have Marca Pajarito. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. But thank you. Uh, okay, Carla, welcome. 
Hey, good evening. Good evening. Carla, I see that you have Joker in the back. Who is your favorite Joker? Out of, have you seen all the movies of Batman Jokers? Heath Ledger is my favorite Joker. Heath Ledger? Uh, yes, but um, Jack Nicholson is, is, was a very good Joker too. Yeah, I, in my opinion, I think Jack Nicholson's the best. And the the I, time was the best and um, because he was Tim Burton, the director of that movie. Yes, I mean, no, but Heath Ledger was, yeah. but you know what, in my opinion, Heath Ledger, he should have been the Riddler. But that Joker is more accord to the, to the, um, the comic. What about because Joaquin Phoenix? That was, that, 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 that was sick. I love that movie. It was more psychological. Yeah, that was. But I mean, it's it's Joaquin Phoenix. I know. I anything he does is good. But hair that was not that good. You have not seen that movie. Hair. What? You did not like her. Not that much. Oh my God! I, you know, I was going to tell Jordana about that movie. I love that movie. It was very good. Which one? Her. Her, it's, uh, it's okay, you know Joaquin Phoenix, right? Nope. <laughs> I rather animation movies, but I have seen some of Batman's. Um... Well, the last Joker, I mean, the, the last, last Joker is Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the ones that it's like skeleton like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he made a movie with um, Scarlett Johansson, and and the movie's about that he was like your your nerd. He was like a nerd, you know, those type of people that are straight. In your job, do you have somebody like that always? That there's always a strange person that he's he doesn't talk to anybody. I have seen some. Yes. What movie? Yeah, and that movie's her like. Him, her. Okay, okay. So, um, you know, but he has like a normal life. He just doesn't, he doesn't socialize. He, he, he's, he's like a nerd and, and, and everything. So he goes to a mall and they, and they were selling this computer system. It, they were selling like a chip and that chip becomes your friend. Okay. So he bought a chip and I, I, I think he has an earpiece and it's your friend, you know, you can talk to him or her and, and this, and the voice is Scarlett Johansson. Oh. But it's like Siri. I, I think I think it's the future of, of technology because- Yes, it's um, artificial intelligence. Yes, because you know how now people say, Siri, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? Okay. And, but in that movie, you can actually talk all the time to that, you know. But the thing is, he started falling in love with that voice and and, and this and that. But and, and then it starts getting Joaquin Phoenix crazy. But I wow. like that movie. I, well, I mean, those are the type of movies I like. I really enjoyed that movie. Okay. It was good. It was good. Watch it if you can someday. For sure. We'll look it up. Thank you. All right. Uh, also, before we start, I recommend you, I just watched the movie like three days ago. I finally watched a good movie on Netflix. Okay. It's oh, really? called, yes, Historia del Matrimonio, I think, Married Life. Oh, Marriage. really? Did oh, you like yeah. it? yeah. I loved it. I mean, That was so boring acting. for me. No, I, I really loved it. That like, they I'm, are fighting all the time, and at the end, they uh, end up... Don't say the end, because... <laughs> Maybe somebody <laughs> will watch it. Right. No, you know what I I mean what I liked about the movie because it's a normal thing. I mean, me as a married man and a, with a son, the movie's about this couple that they were a perfect couple that you know, and then they just separated. They no, they didn't separate, they started distancing. Okay. For no reason. 
It just happens in a marriage, I imagine. And that, that's what the movie is about, you know, like when you start distancing from your couple or your partner and you don't know, and then when it becomes too late, then you divorce. And then when you want to divorce, you think you're friends and then all this, but it's, it's a really good movie. I mean, I, it left me a bad flavor, like, okay. <laughs> because I, I, I saw myself in that movie. It's not that I said, what if that happened to me? <laughs> That's sad. That's yes, sad. It is. But it, 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 I liked it and it's good acting. And uh, Lo Verduleros Tres, of course, that's always the best movie. Really? No, I'm okay. joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay, I see that pretty much everybody's here now. We have Rosa, we have Grace, Marvin, and Ruth. If you can please turn on your camera, it would be great. Because we might be audited by Insafor. Thank you. Marvin looks like a scary movie right now. Like a, a face is gonna pop yeah, up. Sorry, sorry, my background is, I only clean this, this mess out of my room. Oh, but... that's cool. <laughs> it is no problem. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Veronica. When we have Grace and <clears throat> Thank you, Sandra. Hi, Isha. Hi. Is it cold where you are right now, Jordana? Not today. It's really fresh. Can I say fresh? Yes. Yeah. I thought you were going to say it's really hot. No, it's not. <coughs> it's no, really not cool. Today. It's cool, right? It's cool. All right. Okay, let's start. Let me look for Okay, do you see my screen right now? Yes. Yes. So um, yesterday we finished, remember, um, doing gerunds and infinitives, right? Right. Let's do the, have you done the knowledge pulse, uh, the knowledge check yet? Mm. Yes, but I couldn't do some of them. I could, even though I think I, I have the right answer, it does not check correct. That was the number three. I think. Don't worry about yeah. it. That happens always. It's the day it doesn't happen. I'm going to be very surprised. <laughs> There's always a glitch. I don't know why. I, the, supposedly this time they 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 changed it again. And yesterday I did one, and there are still grammatical mistakes. And but. What we do is we, we take them down and try to fix them. Okay. okay, it says instructions, read the dialogues and complete the sentences. If two answers are possible, write both of them. Separate both answers using, remember, uh, separate both answers using um, slash. Remember, use either gerund or infinitive. Or both if possible. Or both if possible. Okay, number one, can you do num um, can you do number one, Jordana, since you did it? Yes. Yes, number one is the right answer. No, uh, yes, but hold on, let's do Jordana first. Okay, okay. sorry. No, that's okay. okay, no problem. So, Ada, uh, Sam isn't happy when he has nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Gary, I know. It really bothers him. Sam 
can't stand having nothing to do. Is that correct? It looks about right. Yeah. yeah. So I think that was the one. Hey, this one doesn't let me copy paste. The other one did. Okay. Oh. That's the that's the example. Oh, but you need to you go to, to the right to this below. Uh -huh. right yeah. there. Oh. Uh, yeah. In the box. And the box, yeah. yeah. So Sam can't stand having nothing to do. And All right. Number two, Marvin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Going to Paris. But can you read complete, please? Okay. Um, Beans and John avoid go avoid going to the parties. Okay, but okay, so Vic, I hardly ever go to school parties anymore. June, me neither. They are not as much fun as they used to be. Vic and June avoid. What is it? Avoid going to the parties anymore. Going to school parties, right? To a school parties anymore, maybe, or only parties. I would say school parties. Okay. Did anybody put something different? You know, you know, back to this word, hard, hardly. Never. It's, it's ironic because if you put hard, it's duro. And if you say hardly, it's apenas. So, <laughs> so then okay. it's, it's ironic because then there's this saying in English. So how are you? Are you working hard or are you hardly working? <laughs> <laughs> okay and it has a it has a totally different like you know that that's a very common when your boss or something hey are you working hard or are you hardly working man mm -hmm. hardly so you know what hardly is no we know yeah yeah hardly is hardly ever but i mean hardly is like famous teacher and then what? Yes. Teacher. Ruth. Yes, Ruth. I put I put going to school parties. It show me if correct. What did you put? Going to school parties. Okay. But I don't put the the period. I don't know is is that the reason for my answer is incorrect. Oh. All right, wait, you put school parties and uh, it was correct. Uh, but but I don't yes, put without the period. period. Uh huh, without period. Goodness. Okay, let's try without period. Okay, cool. Thank you. Gio, can you do number three, please? Can you read the complete example? Are you, are you going to ask me the only one I had bad? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's then, the then. only one I, I had bad, man. I got wrong. Yeah, I got wrong. Okay. I yeah, that's the only it. one. I don't know how to to write it. Right, let's do it together. Maybe the, your okay. your um your classmates will help you. I hope so. Okay, go. Read the example. Visiting okay. her, maybe teacher. Uh, Vis Tina. Visiting her parents. Uh, who's gonna read that? You uh, read read yeah. the complete and then read oh, the okay. example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tina, you visit your parents on the weekends, don't you? Leslie, yes, I spend Sundays with them. I'm too busy to rest of the week. Leslie prefers. 
I write, I wrote to spend Sunday with, with her parents. Or I uh, spend Sundays with them. Spending, spending some Sundays with them. Okay, I spend Sundays with them. I'm too busy on the week. So what did you put? I trying with spend to spend Sundays with them, spending Sundays with them, and visiting her parents on the weekend. And all what for what me the want. three sound sound okay. Yeah. Did anybody get this right? I put uh to visit her parents on Sunday, visiting her parents on Sunday, and I got a run. I tried many, but always wrong. Okay, yeah, then this is this time. <laughs> yeah. So I spent Sundays with them. I'm too busy on the rest. Uh, okay. So Leslie prefers to spend, spend Sunday with them. Yeah. Uh, the weekend. Okay, let's do Sundays. I try the weekends too, but spend time. Remember in English, um, days and months are always with capital. Yeah, with capital. Mm -hmm. Okay. That days, months, oh, no. and Got titles. Around. And titles. For example, okay. uh, let me give an example. In the name of a movie, give a name, Danza con Lobos. Dances with Wolves. It's a title of a movie, right? Because it's a title, every word, it, it will be with a capital. Every word. Like dances, da the D with the W, and Wolves, the W. It's always going to be in the capital. In Spanish, no. Danza con lobos, only the D would be capital. Okay. So, um, Nancy prefers to spend Sundays with them. It's going to be wrong anyway. But, Gio, those three are good, so don't feel bad. Don't cry. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, number four, it says, Tom, are you going to take an Italian class this summer, Ivy? Yes, I am. I love to I love to learn new languages. Ivy is into learning new language. Learning languages. Language. Languages. Languages. Yeah, yeah. Languages. And do you want to go rock climbing oh, with me this yeah. weekend, Sue? Thank I don't know. You. Rock climbing sounds dangerous. Sue is worried about going oh, rock climbing. Good, yes. So it's about going rock climbing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do people do rock climbing here in El Salvador? No. I remember before in La Puerta del Diablo, they used to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Josh, what sort of volunteer work do you do for the library, Celia? Celia, I love kids, so I volunteer as a children's storyteller on Saturdays. Celia enjoys volunteering as a children's storyteller. Mm -hmm. Storyteller, right? Yeah. Do you guys watch, or have you ever watched Saturday Night Live? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Do you know who Christopher Walken is? Yeah. You should watch a sketch when he reads Christmas stories to kids in the library. 
it's very scary reading. I mean, can you imagine Christopher Walken reading? <laughs> wow, he is. Because he is scary. Yeah. His face is really weird. Yeah, but, and, I, and that's the funny part because he, he's like a storyteller for kids in library and the kids are like, they're all scared just watching him. <laughs> yeah, I think I think um, Christopher Walken is the best villain of TV, of movies. All right, let's see how many we got wrong. Number three. Yes. <laughs> I will have to find out which is the right answer. Let yes. me write that down so tomorrow we can see what happened. Okay. Um, We'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, um, I will. We will have to make a report of that. Okay, it says at the end of this section, participants will be able to talk about how people have changed and practice and practice using the vocabulary. So, think about changes. How people have changed. So, before you think of people, think of you. How have you changed? in the last five, 10, 20 years. Like I have been, I have, I have been more antisocial every year that passes, I think. <laughs> yes, 10 years ago, I could sit in a table oh, and have fun with people. Now I, I, I don't like people, I'm joking. How have you changed? So you say, I used to be. Okay, do you remember I used to be? Yes. So what, what goes after I used to be? Maybe an adjective. An adjective, yes. So I used to, okay, so for me, an example, um, 10, 15 years ago, I used to be more social. But now I am more... Antisocial. No, I'm not antisocial. I think I'm, I'm more conservative. I'm more reserved? I'm more reserved, yes, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, yeah. No, because antisocial is like, I don't know, I don't to nobody, I don't like people. But you know, like, okay, like 15 years ago, I used to like to go out and meet people. Now, if I go out, I like to go out with people I know. <laughs> and okay. things like that, yeah. Okay, it says, describe how you've changed. Uh, describing how you like to change, okay? So do you see this example here? It says, I used to be, but now I am. I am more, now I enjoy. I am yeah. interested in, uh, I like to be more. Okay, so I used to be more social, but now I am, I am more conservative. I am more private now. I enjoy my personal time. I am interested in photography. I like to be more active on it. Just to give an example. And then it says here, three things you'd like to change, three things that have changed. Okay, let's watch the video. We can't hear. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome. You know, most people change over the years, 
How have you changed, let's say, over the last five years? What do you want to change now? Complete the following chart. How have you changed? Describing how you've changed. I used to be, but now I'm, I'm more, now I enjoy. Describing how would you like to change? I'm interested in, I'd like to be more. Three things I've changed, three things I would like to change. Now that you have completed the chart, discuss your information with a partner. Try asking follow-up questions. Okay, so instead of three, because that's just very short today, and now we're not enough sometimes, let's everybody tell me one, something you used to be, and now you are more. Remember, it can be something negative or positive. But obviously, if you used to be negative, now you're a little bit more positive. If you used to be more positive, now you're a little bit more negative. Okay. And, <clears throat> Okay, so Veronica, tell me how have you changed in the last past 10 years? Ten years. Um, maybe I just to, to watching a lot of movies. Yes, but not something you used to do, something you used to be. Oh, I used to be, okay. I used to be more impatient, but now I try to don't that. You used to be more what? Impatient. Impatient. Yeah, impatient. But I, I'm now I'm trying to, to change that. Okay. But now you're a little more patient. A little more patient. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. All right, good. Uh, what about you, Rosa Elena? Yes. Hi, can you tell me something used to be before uh, that? Mm -hmm. I used to be a um, very good reader. Okay. But now, um, I'm not reading a lot as I, 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 I did. It. But now I am not act, active anymore. <laughs> not active, not too much active. Yeah. And why is that? My time is too short now. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally understand you because I used to be a, I used to love reading a lot too. I used to read maybe one book a month Maybe, yeah, maybe one book a month. And now I don't read anymore. It's difficult. Yes, because of time, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Who was it, the politician, Mason, uh, Neto Mason, right? That he says, oh, I'm crazy about reading. I read when I drive. <laughs> uh, he says, I read 10 or 20 books a month. Oh, please, come on. <laughs> Impossible. Yeah, he's like, come on, don't do it. I mean, yeah. so, oh, I, I, yeah, I remember, I, did you see that interview? No, I, I didn't. Yeah, he says, I love to read. I, I read 10 or 20 books a month when I drive and I have it. And I said, wow, <laughs> I mean, if you Could have the time. He never drives. He's his driver, maybe. Yeah, or the penguin books. I mean, <laughs> and, you know, if, if it's books for like children, that's ten pages. Okay, does that count? Okay, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Good. Uh, Grace. I'm sorry, Grace. I have to ask you. How old are you? I'm 24. Really? You look yes. like 17. Yeah. Oh, no. and, and, and that's why I'm asking how old you are, because I can't imagine how, how you are. 
Tell me how you used to be 10 years ago because <laughs> could you walk yeah. 10 years ago? No, but no, okay. So you're 24, right? Yeah. Tell me how you used to be five years ago. Mm, I uh, do you do you go to the university? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you tell me how you used to be in high school? Yeah, I used to be uh, more social. Okay. Yeah, and right now I don't I don't have time for friends or something like that <laughs> to go out. I don't like parties and those stuff. So, uh, uh, right now I'm kind of boring. A boring person. You're a boring person. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> why do you say yeah. that? Because you don't like to do anything. Yeah, I prefer to stay at home and watch movies and study. Oh, you're the perfect girlfriend for some people. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah. There are people out there that enjoy that too. Don't worry. You will find your your. <laughs> Your blue prints one day. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Talking about that, do you know where that term comes from, blue blood? Sorry? Do you know that term, sangre, sangre azul, blue, blue blood, the, the principe azul? Do you know where that uh, comes from? No. Last time I was, I was doing about that, uh, I was reading curiosities and, um, the uh, monarchies are, would be the only ones that put makeup, right? Remember, they used, they used to put a lot of makeup, white makeup, so they yeah. look like dolls. The thing is, imagine they were so white and they put makeup, the veins, they didn't look green. They look blue. Oh, that's why. Yeah, so then the people, the poor, poor people say, oh, my God, they're royal because they have blue blood. Oh. Yeah, so that, that's where the term my blue prince comes from. Oh, my interesting. God. It's a lot of information. Yeah, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Nelson. Uh, tell, me? tell me something used to be, and now uh, you're not. <laughs> okay. Um, I used to be. Outgoing, mm -hmm. but now I am married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. It's very hard. Yeah, it's kind of hard to be outgoing like to, when you're to... married. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's very hard. Okay, uh, Ruth. Hi. Tell Hi, me. Ruth. Hi. Tell me something you used to be. No, when? you're not. <laughs> when I used to be when? <laughs> what? Well, surprise us. Mm. Um, Ruth, you're single, right? Are you still um, single? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, you have a boyfriend <laughs> now. Yes, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> something happened in December. I, I used to be like <laughs> I have a both boyfriend. Now I I can say I have a bro a boyfriend. <laughs> oh okay. The reason why I asked that because have you noticed that everybody tells you, "Hey man, you used to be so cool and outgoing, but now that you have a girlfriend, you're so conservative." You know, people always say that. Well, you know, actually, no. Men always say that to women. Uh -uh. What happened to you? You used to be so happy, and now you're sad. <laughs> yeah. I used to be uh, angry. <laughs> you used to be angry, and now you're happy. I more, more, more than, than I am happy. <laughs> But well, now I okay. used to be just uh, so angry more than happy. Okay. To say so, so you used to be angrier than happy. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can you tell me how El Salvador used to be before the pandemia? Uh, um, what? It was crowded everywhere. It used to be crowded. Yeah, it used to be crowded everywhere. How, uh, did you see that meme that when the um, um, there was a crowd bus, like people was even hanging at the door yes. and um, underneath it said, when we used to be happy and we didn't know. Oh yeah, this is true. <laughs> That's so funny. Meme in English is meme. Meme? Like M E M? No, you spell the same M E M E. But the pronunciation okay. is meme. Meme. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. People <laughs> listen, let, please be careful with, I mean, until that happens to you, you realize so many things. You know, I'm very scared about this, the, the, um, the game on Sunday is going to be full. It's going to be like 40,000 people in that stadium. There's going to be bad consequences from that. Yes. It's terrible. The, the, it should be suspended, the road, but... The role of Walmart today is so crowded in, in the event of politic, politicians. Um, oh, really? Imagine if it's a, a lot of people without masks and crowded on the road right because um i told you i had i got covid right yeah but, but i passed but you know and people always ask you questions like illogical questions it's like like when los saltan a uno me asaltaron quien Perdí mi llave, ¿a dónde? Like, come on, really? You know, and then people tell me, ¿y a dónde te infectaste? You think I... Could I know? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, man. I mean, my conclusion is, is what I tell people, it's not, it's not just important to take care of you. It's not enough just to take care of yourself. But it's also important to take care uh, of who's around you. Yeah. Because even if you're in your home and you follow the rules, you have children, but if you accept visitors, you do not know where they come from. That's the problem. That's what I tell people, you know. So it's not only it's not it's not only important to take care of yourself. But it's going. It's also important who's going to surround you or your family. Yeah, so be be very careful with that. Um, it's, it's it's ugly. Okay. And it's and Saturday. Your, your family or all the members from uh, infected with the virus? No, just me. Really? Or maybe so far, I, I so have far. it asymptomatic. I don't know in English. No, no I asymptomatic. No, but no, just me. I don't know why. I mean, there's a lot of things that that happen. You know, some people say, "Oh, do you have this?" No, I put nothing this. Te dio esto? No, I put nothing. You know, some people. I have every 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 possible every possible effect. High fevers. Oh, the body pain. That's so terrible. I lost the sense of smell and taste. And, um, but the thing is, I, when I started feeling bad, I didn't take a risk and immediately I isolated myself. Immediately. So I imagine if I would have waited like three or four days, maybe my family would be infected right now too. Or I hope they're not infected. But the good thing is that where I live, my house, at the end, at the end of, of my room of my house, we have a, a an extra room where I'm at. And I have a small patio and a bathroom. So I'm totally I don't go to my oh, house. Boy. Yeah. But really be really be careful. Take care of yourself. Um 
now a lot of people call me and it's scary because hey, after 10 days, you could get sick. You stop breathing, you stop this, you stop that. So now I understand what, what the doctors say. Don't go out, only if it's necessary. Why go eat to a restaurant, eat in your home? Yeah, but the most important thing is I would not accept visitors because you don't know. Even if you clean their, their hands with alcohol, if you clean their hands with alcohol, take their temperature, vaya, también, that's it. Like they do in the supermarkets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And these are very important. Every doctor has told me, and um, look, they're very important. I have one of these. Mm -hmm. The oximetro. If it's under 90, go to the hospital. <laughs> God, she'll be yeah. 100 all the time. No, like it's, it's always like 95 up, you're okay. 90, 93, 94, you're okay, but under a 90, you're not. Right. All right. Okay, so um, before the pandemic, El Salvador used to be crowded. It used now to be it's even more. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's, it's little by little coming back to norm, normal. Right. All right, okay, let's see. Let's continue with, let's do this listening exercise, okay? Okay. We're gonna hear this. And it says, listen to the audio program. Which person do you think would be more likely to do this things, these things this weekend? Choose the right answer, all right? So the possible ones here are stay out later and at a big party, stay home and watch TV, help a relative with personal problem, with a, um, with a personal problem, invite a classmate to a funny movie. All right, let's listen to the audio. Please tell me if you can hear it. Okay. Well, please tell me if you can't. Oh, here we go. Listen again. Which person do you yeah, think would be more likely to do these things this weekend? Check Marcos or Heather. One, Marcos. Well, I guess the biggest change in my life over the last five years is that I got married. You know, I used to be into going out with friends every weekend and staying out late. We were pretty wild and crazy back then. Now, I'm more of a family man. I don't mind staying at home, watching TV, that kind of thing. I'm even learning to cook. It's not so bad. I guess you could say that I started to grow up. I wasn't so interested in going out all the time. I was ready to settle down and have a family. I have to be honest, my heart wasn't really in the right place before. I mean, before I didn't mind being, well, a little irresponsible at times, even selfish. I was always out having fun with my friends, but I never wanted to hear about their problems. I just didn't care. But with my wife and little boy, it's different. I'm trying to become more, you know, more kind and generous. I want to be there to help them out, no matter how small the problem. Two. Heather. I have to say, five years ago, I was a completely different person. I never said much in a crowd, and I always tried to avoid making small talk with people I didn't know very well. But really, I was just incredibly shy and reserved. Anyway, then I went away to college, and I had this roommate, Nora. She had a great sense of humor and laughed at all my jokes. That really gave me a lot of confidence. Nora and I joined a small study group at school. When we finish studying, a bunch of us go out for coffee. Conversation is easy because we all have a lot of the same interests. Now, my new friends think of me as the funny one in the group. Can you believe it? So, I'd say I'm much more friendly and outgoing now. 
I don't worry about speaking up and giving my opinion anymore. In fact, I'm thinking about joining a few more clubs so I can meet even more new people and do more things. All right. So, stay out late at a big party. Who's more likely to do that, Marcos or Heather? Heather. 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 Stay home and watch TV. Marcos. 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 Um, help a relative with personal problems. And Marcos. 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 Yeah. You see, Grace, there are Marcos out there. Grace, Marco is, a, is an ideal man for you. Invite a classmate to a funny movie. Hello. 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 We got it. Okay, next it says, at the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use noun clause after B. Non clauses. All right, let's hear the non clauses. You find it? Let's do it together. There is only one. The last example, I'll give you 30 seconds to. Hi, please read the following article. Can you find the noun clause in the last example? I'll give you 30 seconds to read it and identify it. You may begin. Did you find it? Let's do it together. There is only one bathroom. Noun clauses after B. Remember, a noun clause is a group of words that function together as a noun. It can be the subject of a sentence or the object of a verb. We want you to pay attention on. The word that signals the beginning of a noun clause. That in noun clauses after B is optional. Also notice the prepositions that are used with the following noun. Let's work on an example. One benefit of being an only child is that you get a lot of attention. That you get a lot of attention is a noun clause. Every noun clause has a subject and a predicate. In the above example, you is the subject and get is the verb. Complete the sentences with your own ideas. Then compare them with a partner in class. Number one, an advantage of being a twin. Number two, a problem with being an only child. Okay. So we're going to, after that, you give me the noun clause. So, um, Ingrid, hello. Ingrid, what is one benefit about being a woman in El Salvador? Mm. Uh, well, you can, in, in certain places, you can travel alone. So you, you, so you have to tell me one benefit about being a woman in El Salvador is that you can travel yeah. alone? Yeah, and you can go out in other countries. Okay, good. That is a benefit because mm -hmm. in other countries, they can't. Yeah, you know, one thing I think uh, in some cases, I think one of the benefits about being a woman in El Salvador is that you get priorities. 
Yeah, and the law, that is another point. Yeah, it's like, you know, it says women and children first, women and children first. <laughs> oh, yes. and that, and that, and for example, when you have a flat tire in your car, all a woman has to do is just get off the car and stand. In two minutes, a man is going to come. No, but that's really dangerous. Yeah, I mean, even I though think I am so. a woman, I will yeah. not do that. Yeah, that's true. And the first question, se le pinchó la llanta. No. <laughs> no, I, I like to park in the middle of the street, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's one benefit about being a woman in the suburbs that sometimes you get priorities. Um, Jordan, I'm sorry, are you single, married? Married. Okay, can you tell me one, one benefit about being married? I think when, okay. One benefit of being married. About being married. About, okay. One benefit about being married is. That. That I can get help to raise my children. Okay, good, can, yes. Yes, that we can share responsibility on parenting. Good, yes. Or is that you always have somebody? Okay, very good. Yeah. Um, Inmar, are you married or single, sir? I'm married, sir. All right. Inmar, can you tell me one benefit about being a man in El Salvador? <laughs> a man, a Jedi, a ninja. Um, uh, I don't, I'm not sure about that. Uh, Yeah, do we have benefits about being men in a suburb? No. <laughs> we could say that you could go everywhere whenever you want. And if you don't have your wife with you, like you have no, like, no, no one to stop you. Well, okay, that's one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Men, can you help? What is one benefit? What happened to? What is one benefit about being a man in this country? Imagine how terrible our country is that we cannot find one benefit about being a man here. In certain companies, I have heard that you have higher salary too. Every man. No, no, just one benefit about being a man. I mean, I'm generally speaking, yes, not. That's true. That's true, Jordan. I think one of the benefits about being a man in El Salvador is that you have a bigger probability of getting a job than a woman. Kind of, yeah. Could be. Yeah, because men, we don't get pregnant. <laughs> right. You can work everywhere. But uh -huh. it all depends what kind of job you're looking for. Yes, depends. That's why, that's why it's in general, right? So right, right, right. All right. Rosa, hi. Yeah. Rosa, are you a mother? Yeah, of two. Of two. All right. Two what children. is one benefit about being a mother? I know this is a... Stupid question because everything is beautiful, but tell me one benefit about being a mother. It's a very really good satisfaction. It's a very, the best realize in your life. Yeah, the best and worst feelings of your yeah. life, yes. Mm -hmm. because not, the, not the act of the pregnant and the born. It's the rest of the life of the children you can do and model and wait wait get covid and tell me about that pain in your body <laughs> no, i don't think it's compare no it's not compare to give birth not at all 
I, I don't told that so. to my aunt yesterday. They say this pain is compared to birth. No, that's not Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's possible to compare that. Yeah. I think one of the benefits about being a mother is that you will forever have unconditional love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's from yeah. Sandra. Hi. Hi. Sandra, where do you live? Where, where do you live, Sandra? I think she froze, right? Sorry, please. I'm sorry. One moment, please. My okay, screen no. is freezing. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. One moment, please. Yeah, I noticed that after six seconds of so watching you, yeah, you froze. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Marvin, are you there? Yes, sir. Hey, Marvin, where do you live? I live near to the Plaza Metropolis. Do you know where it is? Um, it's like a meal? No, no. Yes. To the hospital. Yeah. Near the hospital? Yes, near to the hospital too. And All right. You know me. So what, what is one benefit of living where you live? Um, one benefit is you. Is that? You have very close. Is that you have very close uh, supermarket. You have everything, huh? You have the police, the supermarket, and the hospital. Yeah, there's all. Yes, it's very. When you say centrico? Yeah, it's yeah. very near. Yes, it's very uh, near. Yeah. Yeah, you can go walking to all of them. Yeah, <laughs> and to the park, part to the yes to the uh, park satellite uh, for running for practice. I sport. remember that park. Mm -hmm. ah, oh man, I have good memories in that park. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm sorry. I was thinking out loud. I remember. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember that. You my blood, right? <laughs> yes, yes. I I used to have a a a friend that she lived in in Sacamil. And before we finish, Jordana, can you tell me what is one benefit about living in a taco? Because I know there's not only one. Okay, what I enjoy the most, one benefit of living in a taco is that I can see nature everywhere. And I really enjoy sunny days and this beautiful weather. It's really nice to me. Yes, all right. Okay, good. Okay, class, um, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we'll continue with this tomorrow. All right, okay. so thank you. Thank you. tomorrow you will ask the questions. You will ask the questions. For example, Jordana, you will ask Gio. Gio, okay. what's a, what's one benefit about having a beard? <laughs> <laughs> or what's a benefit about listening to your music? Or or Gio, you can ask um, Ingrid. You know, what's one benefit about being an independent worker? You know. So think about questions you want to ask, and we'll continue okay. tomorrow. Okay. 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 Have a good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye